Here are three things I've come to find out about my 20s that I wish I knew a little earlier. And first of all, guys, I just wanted to say I know I'm super sunburnt right now, super red. I'd be looking like Darth Maul or like, uh, you know, that guy from Captain America, like Red Skull or something. I'd be looking like him. I just got back from surfing in Florida. So I got a little bit of sun and that's why I'm looking the way I am. But anyways, right back into this video. So the first thing I wanted to tell you guys, and I think it's like the most prevalent thing amongst teenagers and uh, people in their 20s, is that you feel like there's so much pressure on you to figure everything out. And basically what I've come to find out is that you have so much time, but it feels like you don't. It feels like you don't because you know, you got school, you got um, the idea of moving out, you got all your other friends doing stuff, you got everyone on social media living their dream life, living their best life, and you feel like you're in such a rush to figure it out, but you have time. You have so much time to just chill and figure it out. You know, there's no need to rush anything. And that brings me to my next one, my second point, which is guys, it's okay to try and fail. Okay, it's okay. Like if you're interested in something, give it a try. And if it doesn't work, move on to the next thing. You're gonna regret if you don't try it. So just try it. That's what being young is about. You're supposed to try a whole bunch of things. Find what you like, find what you don't like, find what you can see yourself doing in the future. And then also pick out the things that you despise doing and you wanna do the opposite of that. Like maybe working in an office isn't for you. I know it's not for me. So I'm trying to do everything else except work in an office job, a nine to five. I'm trying to do everything else except that. I'm more of an artistic, creative kind of guy. So that's what I wanna do. And that's what I'm trying to do. So if you're interested in something, go down that path. Don't go down a path you're not interested in. That's just gonna make you miserable. So yeah, don't be afraid to try and fail because doing abstract things is scary and is daunting. And that's also taking the this kind of like the scenic route, right? Because it's easier to go down a linear path that everyone else is going down. But that is not the one that is gonna fulfill you, all right? Straight up. And now my third point is the only person you can truly rely on is yourself. When it comes to your dreams, don't rely on anybody else to chase your dreams for you or even chase your dreams with you. The only person you can ever truly, truly 100% rely on is yourself. So if you wanna go after something or pursue something or change something about yourself or about the world or you wanna do something, the only person that is gonna come with you no matter what and be with you throughout everything, <laughs> if this is making sense, is yourself. Like don't rely on anybody. Nobody else owes you anything. No one owes you anything. You can't expect people to always be there for you. You know, you can have your good friends who are like, you know, they're, they may be there for you, but you are your own person and you know yourself better than anybody else. And you know that you are stuck with yourself. You're gonna be there for yourself no matter what. So always take that into consideration if that kind of makes sense. What I'm trying to say is your passion is the strongest. Whatever you're passionate for, you are passionate about exclusively. If you can, if you can meet somebody who is the exact same wavelength as you, that's amazing. That's your soulmate. That's your soulmate friend. Your best, what is it? The soulmate, best friend soulmates or something like that. But yeah, I know that was just like a rant there, but yeah, don't rely on anyone else to chase your dreams for you. Don't rely on anyone else to do things for, for you or with you. Um, always know that you got yourself at the end of the day and you got yourself forever. So yeah, anyways, that was three things I learned in my short journey into my 20s. I'm sure I'm gonna be learning many more things. Um, but yeah, any of you guys are in your 20s or about to be in your 20s, leave in the comments below what you've learned and maybe if you have any advice for me or for anyone else watching, that would be sick. I love reading your guys' comments, by the way. So appreciate all the love recently, guys. Appreciate all the love, appreciate all the comments. Drop a comment, I read them all, I reply to them all. So show some love, love you guys, peace.